Are you ready? Yes. All right. I want to welcome everybody to the January 3rd hearing of the Minnesota Township Board of Zoning Appeals. Got the board members, Kyle Fosnight on the side, Randy Donaldson, Randy Lombardi, Pat Aslanides, Tony Mucci, and Jeff Shipman. We'll do a mass swearing in. To all of those in attendance of tonight's hearing, we would ask that the information presented, either oral or written, is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. If so, say I do. I do. I do. I do. Uh, what we start out tonight is voting for officers before we, so that way we know who's doing what before we go into any music. I would like to make a motion that we leave it the way it is because we have so much new stuff happening. I was just going to say the same exact thing. That's why I raised my hand to let him know. <laughs> we have so okay. much going on. I would like to leave it as is. Just, just the way it is? Yes. Okay. Any? I second. Well, we'll put that up for a vote. So no other comments? Nope. No, no, I'm perfectly happy so with that. To, Did you get one of these? Uh, you know, yeah. yeah. Yes. So vote for to keep it just the way it is. Kyle? Yes. Randy? Yes. Randy? Yes. Pam? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay, then moving forward. We do have Randy Lombardi. He, he, our last couple of meetings, we wanted a way to formally address issues that we felt were important to the township. So we wanted a forum that we could actually give to Jeff where he would have to respond in writing in the next meeting or the trustees. And he's made several drafts. And the way I see this, this one seems pretty nice if everybody's looked at the copy. But I also a readable think, copy. A readable copy, I think. I also feel that this is a work in progress. So if we try a couple of different things, you know, and we say, well, you know what, maybe we need to add this, we could do that down the road. Yeah, that's fine. So now is there any way, not to criticize it, you could do it on one page? Is that why you're coming out? Is that I can shrink it down to the one page with the audience oh, it's gonna be what? Well I know yeah, that's why it's coming out. Maybe that's why this one is. Well, yours is coming out one page, where his is coming out two. Well, I, if you know, I never got the other part. part. Huh? I never got the lion part. It never printed. The lion part. part. See, if you look oh. at his two pages. Well, I guess that would pretty much have to be two pages. She had been, she had been doing a all in one page lately. It's all in the page. Doing the front and the back. Small. It's just small. Yeah, it's all in it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, that but it's yeah, what I wanted to know. Because he doesn't have a what? Front and back? Well, something he doesn't okay. have all the He said, do you want it on one? He has a description side already right there. Well, right it, one little line. You know, if everything well, is that way, not, that's, I can understand. Now that I'm noticing, I was looking at this. Yeah. And now that I'm noticing your hard copy. Yeah. I mean, I can squeeze these down. Cause no, because you're going to need you're gonna for description. Oh, no. yeah. Leave it the way it is. No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Very good. No problem. I agree. It's easy to change. Nope, that's good. That's what I said when I sent it to you. I was just open to any comments or changes you guys wanted. Oh, that looks yeah. good. And then he also had a sheet for no. meetings because there was kind of some confusion of when we had hearings or meetings and when we did it and, and how many <clears throat> issues we had at those hearings. So he actually emailed that to everyone. Yeah. Are you going to keep track of that, Randy? Uh, I that? will. I will. Okay. I, I guess what I need clarification on is I need that from this guy right here is exactly what do we get paid for? Like, do we get paid for this or do we only get paid for when we're No, we get paid for this. No, you're getting paid tonight. Okay. But if there's if there's several mm -hmm. issues in one night, we get paid for each, each one of those issues. That's why I put case number. I, I made yes. this up, Jeff. So we can help keep track of it because we're, I was we're bouncing around there too. I was looking through all the papers trying to figure out just how many we had and I found two that she didn't have that I did have and Tony found one but he found one where she was giving us credit for two where we only yeah. had one so I figured okay let's make a spreadsheet and we'll just keep track of it here to verify right. against what she has yeah that way everything's status quo well we know I'll just at the end everything's changed over and what some of us we didn't have meetings for and now we 
to change the video. Right, right. And, I, and I'm okay with that. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I just thought maybe if we monitor our own attendance and compare it against hers, then we'll know who's what we actually did. And I do the agenda. She does the minutes. Okay. So we can actually, I send the agenda over to her. Okay. And then she knows what's happening. And we'll, there'll be three ways of finding out what's what. All right. Let's do it. And then we're going to keep this at Tuesday, the first Tuesday at 7 o'clock, no. except for holidays, which when I looked at the calendar, I think 4th of July was the only holiday on a Tuesday and Election Day. Tuesday the 4th of July. Right. right. That's the only one that I saw that was on a holiday. And Election Day will move to the second Tuesday, correct? So she can actually put one in the Herald for the entire year. She's already done that. Okay, so the 4th of July, we're gonna to go to the 11th? Yes, we'll go to the second. The second. Second Tuesday. Tuesday. The second Tuesday. I'll check the model. <clears throat> that, that is the 11th, yes. She, I think she should. Or make you guys up a calendar to do you. you know. Yeah. This is a production. She can just, the emails weren't in real great. As long as I get it, you know, five o'clock yeah, an hour. I know you have to do that. Yeah. Learn it every time it comes up. There's three ways of learning. But e email is is easy for all those things. I think for everybody. Okay, so then we have November the seventh, which is that Tuesday. We're going to go to the fourteenth. Yes. What was that date in July? July 11th, you said? Yeah, because yeah, the 4th of July is on Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, July 11th, and then it's going to be November the 14th. 14th. Okay. That's the only two that will have to change. Yes. For the year. Okay. And then also, like in December, and, and you guys are free to, I didn't feel that we really had anything worthy of talking about, you know, because all the issues were kind of resolved except him making the forms. So I actually canceled that meeting. Mm -hmm. If you guys feel there is issues, you know, you can speak up and say, you know, I would like to discuss this and we could still have the meeting, you know, that's just, I'll send it out a few weeks ahead of time if I don't see anything. Because just to come here and, and not solve anything isn't what we're really into. Well, we're we not supposed to meet once a, a month? Yeah, we're, we're, we're planning on meeting once enough. a month, okay. but okay. there's absolutely nothing. You know, like like today we're, I want to try out, I have an issue that I want the trustees to look at so next month, we'll, we should have a answer within 30 days for that issue. So next month, that'll be one of the, the issues we're gonna look at. And you, were, <clears throat> you had your hand raised? Yes. Um, if any of us have an issue, like say it's after this meeting, um, let's say in a week and a half, you have a thought that you need to talk about the meeting, email um, Tony, so he can start an agenda with it. Right. That way, if you get one or two, because you might not have something, yeah. but one of you may have, or me might have something, mm -hmm. that right. way we don't, don't wait for him to say there's nothing, because then the emails will all get convoluted. Yeah, no, no, that's a good point. So if you have anything where you feel you need, we need to talk about, mm -hmm. email them early, and then, instead of doing that, just Tony will be in charge of that, correct? Yeah. Or they're going to chew that. <clears throat> what I did before the end of the year was I contacted the recorder's office and told them that we'd be using this book. So that way there was no changes because you're supposed to send it in to them. I said no, because there were some things that we found out uh, that we didn't appreciate. And uh, so we said we'll stop everything. And then we're going to start from tomorrow night, start from the beginning of this book, and we're going to start working our way back over. So there's going to be changes and there's going to be, I got something for you tonight if you looked at my email that we need to start on. I got questions for you. And then there was things that we had sent in they disallowed where other townships were allowed to do them. So you need to know about those things also. Mm. All right? Okay. Yeah. So like, 
tonight I have I sent you, and it was on page two conformance. All right, I have questions for you. Okay. And um, it's about conformance. It's in our book. Conformance. It's on page two. Yeah, I'm going to send you an item. I have a thing on there on the agenda that says item because that's what I sent you was the agenda. And then I have item from meetings items that I would, uh, if you have your own, you can probably make up your own thing that you want to do, your agenda, and then we can have one for mocks. You know, I mean, we could do that, which would be kind of good. And uh, that way I can keep track. You know, the, the recording is good. You know, I send it right to um, uh, Sandy. Too. I had conformance on there because I got we got things in the book that they have in there but there's nothing to it that you need. I got nothing to work with except for the word. And you got time right now? Are you still looking? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm on page two, section one ten conformance, prohibition against violating the resolution. No building shall be located, erected, constructed, reconstructed, enlarged, changed, maintained, or used, used. No land shall be used in violation of every, any resolution, amendment, or supplement to such resolution. That one there, I started looking at it today, and I'm thinking, you know, this is kind of like where the uh, the BZA might have to step in. All right, because I look at reconstructing. Okay, we don't do. You know, the building's already there. The foundation's sitting there, and uh, it's going to be reconstructed. And I think to myself that uh, maybe that's something where the BZA is going to come in start questioning what are you, you going to do here you know because if you're you going to leave a wall up and do use, something larger yeah it picks back up you know it's used and we go again and i say to myself i'm looking at this one i have nothing like a fee for reconstruction you know what i mean and i'll say okay what are you going to plan we're going to build the same thing but the, i don't know if that's my question to ask that's yours because it's used All right and maybe before you, a board said, maybe we have plans here to build this and go along, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. I'd rather have you guys look at this and have a, use the BZA more. You know I've done, got into that last year. But well, I have an example for that. Somebody just bought a house on Pilot Knob right on the other side of Han, going towards Warner Church. The garage there has been falling down for years. No dad used it. Well, now it's completely gone. They tore it completely gone. You know, tore it down completely. Everything's gone. Are they going to reconstruct? And, you know, in other words, you know, that would be that rebuild. In other words, there was something there, but now there's nothing. So do we need to look into those? They're usually what happens is they say, can we already, the building was already been there. Go ahead and let them rebuild this. It seems like it's what if they build it bigger or taller or something? Because well, it does. I mean, if they're going to build identical, what's to say it has to fit the parameters in, in the book? So, in other words, you know, as long as it falls in the parameters in the book, they don't have to come to us to get yeah. approved. No, but they have to go to him to get a permit. Right. Yes. Well, just a thought. Maybe that was been there so long ago that it doesn't fit existing. Well, so that's they go yeah. to build on that yeah, same okay. side. Same exactly. Same. exactly yeah. right. So that's the reason for them to come to the Yeah, yeah non-conforming roofing. Yeah, because if, if they needed a variance, and let's say the building burnt down, and they leveled it, and a year later they want to build the same thing, well, isn't it a brand new building? Yeah. Even though it was there, don't they have to come and get another variance? Well, to me, I, I don't do building, I do area and use, all right? So I, like you say, the use, let's say a blood corn burned down, you know, it's non-conforming. And it would have to come here to be redone probably. Mm -hmm. Or it's something that, you know, maybe wants to expand. You know, and I think like that, I'm like, you know what? And that's why I've always been looking at this reconstruction because people come back into me and I'm like, I don't want to do this. Because <laughs> I think to myself, all right, they got the foundation up and they've already paid for the uh, area. And, and I don't do 
putting wood together or any utilities. I don't do that. Yes, well, what, in the book. What do you mean you don't do building? It, it actually I, is building because if they're going to build something that's too large, I you do have area and use. That's all I do. So you don't you don't you don't qualify the building. You're not a, you don't issue permits for building permits. I, yes, that's the county. That's, that's the county. county. Exactly. Yeah, right. That's right. I, and I understand exactly what you're saying. That's that <laughs> gives me a little gray area in here. Yeah. I don't mind you guys helping me on these type of things that right. we're gonna find throughout the book. Right. You know, and we all have an assignment. You know, we got uh, trailers. that would be a variance, you know what I mean, coming up. But. So that issue just kind of went away? No. Well, we made it go away because I started looking for places for them to put their trailers and they didn't like the one and then you had an idea and it worked. And now they, the trailers have moved and they got a better deal of putting their trailers somewhere else that worked. So we didn't have to go through all this. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Cause there's some funny houses built that built right on the property lines of over. Yeah, I look at these things here and I'm like, okay. But I, like I said, reconstructed and that would have to be, you know, maybe I look it up and there is a non-conforming on it. And then it would have to come before you like I would think. Well, you figure if they tore the one down Tony's talking about, in all likelihood, most people is going to change right. in some fashion from mm -hmm. what was there to what they do today. Yeah, they either make it a two-story, put a loft in it, make a bigger footprint, you know, because now, oh, it was a one bay, but I want a two and a half bay garage because I want a workshop. Right. So there's always that risk of that happening. And if they think they've got the right to go ahead forward without even notifying the township, they don't. They did that. We're actually, somebody got some trouble in Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of substance to what you're saying that we probably need to clarify that. Yeah, because once the building is gone, then it's no longer. An example would be, remember the welcome in? Oh yeah. Okay, the welcome in burnt down. Yes, it did. Can't build another one. Can't build a bar there. Because across the street from the church, they were grandmothered in. Well, wait a minute, there was a bar. Tough, the bar's gone. Right. So now, no one can build a bar. No one can build a bar there. It's across the street from the church. So what's the difference between that and what we're talking about here? Once the building is burnt down or tore down, yeah. that variance or whatever was on that is gone. Well, see, there is on burning, there's codes for burning, something to go through the ground and stuff like that. They can put the building back up, all right? And they're allowed to add 25%. That's all it says. Now, you guys would come in and say, well, what are you gonna use? Percent for you know, let's say like a flex corner burns down, and then he says, I want to add 25 percent by the code is allowed. Okay, and he doesn't have to come between it for us. We it's not our business what he uses it for. Use we don't know what he's going to use it for, then we need to question these things that are in the township. This, this is what I'm getting changed. confused now. We like <clears throat> some things are coming in the township, and like I said, somebody got nailed and they got the letter today on something like this. Probably should have been talked over a little bit more and they should have come before you guys. Uh, well, the Butch Corner example is perfect. Like you say use. So he comes in once and he says, well, I'm going to expand my seating capacity. Or then he comes in and says, no, I'm going to, I'm going to have a brewery on the other side of my building in that 25%. Did we approve that? Well, we have to come, I think, before the township and decide whether or not they want to have the brewery, right? right? Yeah. That's so I understand the use. Yeah, when I'm doing also, you know, we have things going on around here and people just, you know, I think the county is supposed to be doing it, but I think also the, uh, the township needs to know what's going on. Sure. sure, but again, I'll go back, devil's advocate here, I understand what you're saying, but the book says he's allowed to go 25 percent bigger. He doesn't have to come before us. He yeah. doesn't have to what come What if that 25 percent takes it out of conformity to what's in the book, higher? Or but more he's allowed 25 percent. But so what does it say, 25%? You got that 25% takes you closer to the street this, or to This the was copied and pasted in there, all right? That's all it was. Now, when I look at 
this stuff it says under section adopted by a board under section 519 of 529 okay because they're doing this stuff let's just say they, they reconstruct something and uh, it says here or something if it, in what it is prohibition against violating resolutions all right but if there's no res resolution in here before this kind of stuff i want to bring it before you to look at it you know sure that's what I'm saying. I just want to be able to do this stuff. Well, here's where my mind is going. Let's say someone builds a garage, 24 by 24. It's in the book. Get a permit. They're allowed. Okay. None of our business. Now, if they make it into a bar, then that's our business. Right. Okay. So if a man, if he's allowed to go 25% more, it's none of our business. Now, if he goes with, with too close to the property line, if he goes here, if he goes there, if he's going to make it into a adult bookstore now it now use now it's our business but he doesn't come out to come before us Which until else? it is our business there's other things that go along with it looks like there's people going we're getting to a lot of gray am i am i, yeah, am I, am I seeing it differently or parking spots you know, the only question i would have is what how would we ever find out what they're going to use it for if we don't have some notification of what they're doing well let's say somebody comes in to build a home and you give them, okay, they're going to build a 2,200 square foot home, mm -hmm. none of our business. And right. all of a sudden, after six months after it's open, it's a house of prostitution. Right. Anything built can be something yeah. different Everything. against our code. And we don't know until they actually do it. But we're under the assumption people understand, they know kind of the rule, can't do this thing. The parking stuff requires different amounts of parking. Construction, they might have to come in here and you're gonna to have to give me a little paper to have that because it might say, Well, I'm sorry, you're four parking lot sections short. All right, that's under the reconstruction, and they're going on there and you're gonna to have to say, Okay, what are you gonna use this for? All right, but I, my deal is, is I want people to come in here and we get you guys get to know what's going on out here because I think there's things going on. Are going to be happening that you're it's going Agreed. to be more stuff coming. Reconstruction is one of my biggest it's constructive, it's just area and use. All right, what do you want to do? What building you want here? Located, okay, blah blah. But that reconstructive thing is something coming out. I want to, something like that I can bring to you guys and, and make sure they're conforming <clears> to what. But isn't re see, see when I think of reconstructed, if they have a one car garage and a car runs through it, they tear it down. And they rebuild a one-car garage. That's reconstructing what was there. Now they build a ninety by sixty building where there was a ten by twenty building. That is not reconstructing. That is rebuilding. Okay. And then the question I have again goes back to what is our leverage to know that that's happening if we don't? Don't have they some, have to get a permit no not, matter what they do? Not from him. Um, no, you guys are the one that does. If you do the use. All right, I, it's kind of like I said, you know, even you guys are captured under area and use, all right? And I don't, if they come in and they want a house and it says, oh, one family on there, okay, I'm gonna do a one family, I'll write it down. But if something changes on there, it comes in here to you and they go reconstruct it. To me, it's like, it's changing, reconstructing yes, to something. Agreed. Yeah, and I think that the BZA board should be um, looking at this. I think where the gray area is happening here, and correct me if I'm wrong, is all these years, our zoning inspectors, when they came in, I want to reconstruct, do this, tear down, build another. If it fell within the parameters of our book, they did what they were doing. Yeah. Now, what you're saying is they did it all wrong. So right. now, you, when they come in, you say, okay, my building blew, blew down. I'm going to rebuild. So you're going to tell them, I can't give you a permit, you have to come here. But someone has to be the doorman to say where they go. Exactly. True? Yeah. So they're still going to come with you and all the other zoning inspectors <clears throat> just handle it. This, that's what I'm saying. This is, you're, you're into a whole new thing now. Because we never were involved in these. And now you're pa we not were, passing it. It was done incorrectly. I, I was, we we were, were involved if it didn't meet the parameters right. in the book. Right. That, that's that's. I don't what have we parameters are. for reconstruction, and 
there's something that came in today, and that's why I'm bringing it to you. That there, there's going to be these things, and then reconstruction is one of my worst things. It's one of the worst words. Can we ask world. you what came in today, then, that made you bring this up? You want to explain it to us? No. No, I think it's going to have to. They're going to have to fly up. Matter. Yeah. I had uh, I had a car actually run into my brothers, and uh, the lady had a sudden medical emergency. I don't know if you're aware of that or not. Yeah, but ends up she's not responsible for anything. She had a sudden medical issue, mm -hmm. and she ran into it and did ten thousand dollars worth of damage to my three car garage. Now, if I would have decided at that time, hey guys, while you're at it, let's just make it a four car garage. How many homeowners know that you have to do anything, or is that? Is that a process that's going through your insurance agency or the construction, you know what I'm saying? When I put I mean, in my accessory building. So they put it back up the exact way. I came yeah, here, you know, I went to the zoning yeah, inspector and I went to the county. And just because I thought that's what you were supposed to do. And, and the only reason was is they made me come here because it was oversized. So, but I could have just easily, like everybody else in my neighborhood, just Put it up. Put it up. Because unless you know the rules. But doesn't a builder, because when I have things built. You would think that. The, the, the builder, builder have the responsibility. Yeah, the we did the pool, we did my everything. But they go to the county. They don't come to the township. They go to the county building inspector and they get a building. No, when I had a shed, they <coughs> said you need a permit. And that was township. That's a shed, different. But okay. if you're putting up a structure that's going to have taxes attached to it, it has to go to the county for assessment and also get a permit from the county, not from him. There's a lot of things like so that. So how do you know when they are building or doing anything? That's, my, that's my point. That's exactly what he's getting at. That's, yeah. So how do we do how do we And we've flag? talked about that before, that it is his job to go around and police. Yeah, we're not going to all just drive around here looking yeah. around here. I mean, right. if we have to stumble on something, that's one thing. But none of us drive around looking for I things that are wrong. I volunteer for $30 an hour to drive the car. <laughs> <laughs> that's just yeah, me. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> the, uh, what I'm saying is I'm not going to bring everything, but I want I want to be able to say okay I, they they should look at this, but I'm not going to bring stupid stuff and they're going to be this is a waste of our time. But if I get a feeling like you know what, I get this gut feeling about something, and I get them all the time come into the office and I'm like here we go and they make changes all the time. So what happens if you feel it's going to be okay? It's not. Who do, where does that lie? I've been going over and I look at stuff <coughs> for the townships and I see what they're doing and I'll throw it at them and then I look at some of our past things that we've been done around here. It's amazing. And but when I look at the stuff I'm going, what is your intent? Exactly. You know, I mean, because that's where I'm at about a lot of stuff. You know, and they go, Whoa, we're doing this. Then I found out they're doing something else. All right. I don't want to be my thing is is I'd rather have five individuals looking at something else. right because I'm down there doing other stuff you know what I mean and then I'm trying to think at the same time you know what's going on here well I and see change and I, if, if you get locked in they're gonna lock you guys are gonna lock them in you know what I mean because then you can turn around and tell me hey Jeff we have a problem over here we, we saw him and well Jeff is down there the zoning inspector and he got so much to do you know what I mean I'm just Saying there might be some things that I need to bring before the board. Well, I, I kind of see two two resolves. One is it's you huge. just bring every one of them that you feel is if it's two percent iffy, it comes before us. Right. Well, that, that way you're resolved of everything. Or two, you copy a page in the book and have them sign a paper. This is what you're allowed to do. Right. And if it's not done, they were informed before they built. This is what they were going to do. And if it's not done, they come before us, then we have authority, and it can be torn down or redone, correct? That's not like what I want. What? That's not like what I need <laughs> and want. I, I actually like that option. You like that. print out what the rule is. It's got to be this far off this side, this far off this side, this far off that side, and have them sign a paper so that you understand that. Sometimes the, the rules in this book need clarification. Yes. It's very great. And then so if you give it to somebody the off the street that doesn't look at this as much as we look at it, they're gonna say, What the same hell does this mean? Well look how we're talking now, it's yeah. so confusing. Yeah, you know. Well that was if you don't remember one of the other reasons for that form. If we had an issue with the book, we were gonna yep. put it on that form. 
give it to the zoning board, and they had 30 days in writing to yeah. address it to us. Yeah. That was another reason of that form, because how many things have we come up with and we said, boy, this is really kind of weird. And we, we talk about it, and then it just goes away. Goes away. Yeah. This one here was the one I <clears throat> with the trustees. It's one of our um, definitions, dwelling, single family. Page, page. A building. Wait, what page you want? Page, page, oh, 11. And this is why I'm getting you guys, everybody, to look in the hall. And it says dwelling, single family. What does it read? A building containing one dwelling unit with not more than five lodges or borders. All right. <laughs> so I go over I, here to R1. All right. Single family dwelling, but in our definition, they what say, page? What page you on now? Well, I'm on 11, but I went over to single family dwelling on one. Right. And it says uh, single family no building no dwelling in areas of serve. Okay, so single family. And I look up 33. Here, and on 11, it says a single family dwelling did not have more than five lodges or more. And I laugh at that because I told George you should wait over. But it's these things that, you know, I got five people here that I know I can trust that when we're looking at stuff that you're going to get good ideas that I can go back to the BCC and go, here, this is something mm -hmm. I need. We need that this year. Yeah. Do we have to evict all the families with more than five people in the house? Well, if you got more than five people, we have to go to grandma's house. And those, <laughs> they could be uh, 120,000 square feet that just says single family dwelling. Well, Okay, as we're talking about this now, we're giggling. Shouldn't that be amended as we're well, going through it right well, now? Yeah, that was 1995. No, it was 1995. Something that happened in 95. Right. right. And they did this stuff. The book. I looked at the, the newer one or the older one, 87. Didn't have it. In 1995, they made a change. This is Louisville with all these Catholic things. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, look at two families. You can only have five in each side. Well, we're going to have to start evicting. I don't know. Yeah, so I was looking at these things, and what I'm doing is I'm trying to get it where everybody can. Because um, I looked in other books, and it doesn't even come close to saying how many from other townships. I got two other places, and we are so far off. The... And then we do something where uh, it's this. But, you know, it's these little things, and when I'm looking at this, and if it comes into your mind, and it's, you know, like insanity stops your brain when you see it, you know what I mean? And you go, Jeff, this isn't correct, and you're looking through your stuff in the back here. We can make changes in that, you know, where you go back to general requirements or something, or what do they call it? So, I guess I have a question on the zoning board. They go through the book yeah. all the time. So how does, for almost 20 years, it, it's even in the in the, in the multi-family. I, I mean, that's. <laughs> I don't know. if People went to sleep. So I can think of. I'm looking in here, and then he was reading the degrees, and we started looking at stuff, and it was funny because we got into the agriculture, and we were like backwards. This section up here was like real small in people's books, and then the stuff that we had up here was like real big in people's books. And I said, why don't we take the small book and make our book smaller? And it's really the same thing. Why didn't why didn't we have to know all this stuff about agriculture? Why does this have to be in the book? If we're ha we're not doing anything with it, why is it in the book? Yes, that's what we're looking at now. How many of those forms can we print out? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't need it. <coughs> that's what I'm saying. Unless you get the zero in here, and copy them back here. Well, you did say that they're going to start and from the beginning and start going through the book and. Making yes. some changes and corrections. Yeah. Well, they did that a couple of years ago, though, too. No, we just changed a couple things. Changed yeah, but they went going through the book, and again, that those are still in here. Well, I still have those listed, and some of them got changed. All right, because we went through here and we did some green. We went in, you know, and read out, and we were making some changes, and we went out with um, like solar panels and wind and stuff, and we were doing that. And accessory buildings we changed. <clears throat> Now they allowed us to do that. When we came to Part B, 
that I've been trying to get, you know, because then we can get rid of a lot of antagonizing in the community. They allow Blake to have the same stuff, but not us. <coughs> we want to go on. Not to have what? Same word. We want in part to be in home occupations. They gave it to Lake, but they didn't give it to us. Who did it? Yeah. They said denied. And then we looked it up in the book at Lake Township and I went, oh, our lands, it's the same stuff and they let them have it, it's in their book. But yet they told us to look it over a little bit longer and do some other stuff. Why don't we just copy the same thing from Lakes and send it into them and see if they deny it and then ask them why it's okay for Lake to have it and not us? No, it's the same wording. It's the same stuff. That's what I'm saying is that we need to go through this thing with a fine tooth comb. What's our recourse with the well, county? Or something? I don't want to create enemies. No, you know, anyway, to send it down and Perhaps yeah, we come back we tonight and the we could easily commission board looks at it and send a trustee or a trustee to go for it. No. And then they have to somebody somebody call us out on that. We can make and nobody says yes. anything, then they say and they stamp it. Thirty days later it is enacted. Yeah. All right, we can go the long route. Kind of like we want to get the county to go the on it too though, you know what I mean? Perhaps they said the same thing to Lake and Lake didn't. Mm -hmm. We're going to start getting called out on some of this stuff. And I mean, I just feel, let's say, for example, two families are fighting. And there's six people in the one house. And they read our book online. They're going to come up here and say, hey, there's six people in that house. Your book says. <laughs> and I, it, sounds, it, it sounds silly, but it the book happen. says. We got uh, somebody come in there for a fair housing and they said we need to look this book over completely to make sure it doesn't infringe on anybody's rights. Because it's been written long, 75, maybe in 65. But they said make sure, and that's, it was kind of like, you know, from the state, look this book over and read it carefully. I was going to say there's current fair housing guidelines. Yes. In the same token, if you go up a few, there was a discarded motor vehicle. We've had that discussion before, where people have had cars in their yard, even without valid license plates, mm -hmm. and you said, can't do anything about it because they could use it for parts. If you look what that says, it's got 90 days. Well, here's so in problem. other words, is that also invalid? Well, there may be a lot of things in here that need changed. And, and I think that we give the zoning board an opportunity to start and make changes. But I don't also think that maybe we should look over what those are. And give them like things that are of our concern. Because here's the thing, if it says that about the motor vehicles, 90 days with no plates. And again, I got... Right off the road for me, we're going, I'm going through this. And this guy every three weeks is texting me, well, it's snowing now. Is he allowed to park his motor home? So we told him, come winter, we're going to do something. It's January, and it's parked on the road. So he's, he's a little bit upset. He says, well, doesn't he have to move in for the snow plows? He said, we're really in the township, there is no... Yes, there is. Not yes, there is. Yes, there is. If it exceeds more than two inches, they're not allowed to be parked on the road. Well, he's sitting there, and the neighbors are complaining, if and we're not doing anything. The superintendent of roads has the authority to move the vehicles. So if they go down through there, and one of them plow guys says, there's a guy down there, There, I tag this truck, and if we go down there again, they're going to call and they're going to come. You better get that truck out of there. So okay, who would tag the truck? Who would tag the truck? Road, the road department? Driver will get out. Please. So we don't have the authority to do that? There'd have to be a driver of a tow truck? Yeah, because we're kind of like, we want to stay away from the roads a little bit. But if... But, I mean, he's calling truck, me, though. Every truck has those... Tell him to call down the road superintendent. Tell, tell him to call Jamie. Call Jamie. Yeah, yeah. see, the road... Call down to Is the it road. two inches is what our rule is? Yeah, I tell Jamie all the time, we're now making a permit for Jamie. And that's for doing, um, like you're saying, digging across the road. And they have to tear up the road. That is going to, into the, his department. All right, that's road work. Okay, so we're trying to lean like that. And anything.
anything that has to do with the road, Jamie has it. The superintendent has the authority to do stuff. Remove vehicles. Do that. Well, I just my my question is. One neighbor in one neighborhood complained about the leaves, a neighbor blowing his leaves into the road. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Well, okay. Well, they and the trustees came out to talk to him because those neighbors called the trustees and he came out to speak to them. Actually, no, you can't do that. No, it's actually a hazard for motorcycles. Sure it is. I they, understand. They need that. to just call the police and let the police handle it. Well, they, because that that's actually can. Don actually went out and talked to them. Not that did much, but he went out and talked to the guy. And he's more careful about it. So now they're calling us also with now this motorhome, which we told them it'd be by winter, we'll do something. We did it. Now we had that big storm. It was still parked out there. So do I tell them to call the road department and the road department they're will do something? If that vehicle is in the way of them doing their job, they can have it moved. They'll pay it first and it says on there, you have a certain amount of time to move this vehicle, we're getting that out of here. And they can get it towed. We just now got opening for people to park stuff in the township. We got one up on the hill on Bellar and then um, we got other places where people like one street there moved all their trailers as for. We didn't have that before. You know, we've been looking up like a, a little extra on, um, what was it, Columbus and uh, 44. They now have the ability you can call and get spaces there. We didn't have that before. We just now started getting it, so everybody wanted what to do with these big buckets. I have a question for you. Yeah. All the stuff we're reading here, and Tony, you hit on the one that's obvious is a sore spot with me because I have this issue with a neighbor just disregarding motor vehicle. All these are nothing more than definitions. There, There is no code. They're just definitions. And that's a good so, point. There is so, no code to it. There's no so, code to so it. So what so, this is is well, that... No, well, let me finish here a minute, okay? And so they're just definitions. And Tony, the 90 days, that's all it's doing is defining when it's considered a disregarded or discarded Sorry. motor vehicle. But it doesn't say we have any authority to get rid of it. Exactly. So where where is all the codes associated with all these definitions? This here, this is why they tell me to stay in my lane because this is the code that was okay by trustees that sat in this area. Yeah. And so they they try, try. Try. so, so from what, what I understand is for a lot of the code, because uh, actually this happened over the summer two years ago, um, down at the end of the street, the guy just came down and dropped the roll off directly on the road. Like how you're uh, paying, how you said the guy was parked with his thing on the side of the road like that. That's exactly what they did. They parked the dumpster on the side of the road, and I was like, what, what, what are you doing? And he goes, well, we're doing a roof for a house. The owner does not want it in their driveway or in their yard, so it goes on the road. Mm -hmm. That doesn't go on the road. We have code for that. It's, it, it was in the book that certain things cannot be parked on the road, and what I did was I called Start County out, they looked at the thing that I showed them on our resolution, which I'd have to find it again. And they, and, and they said, no, you can't have that parked on the road. You need to move it. And they said that that's the only way they can enforce anything is if, is if it's in our book. And it has to be done right. Correct. And you're talking about this one here, probably in the restrictions of parking and stuff like that. We do have um, leniency here in the township where Sometimes things. But this was right after they, they did the nice new pavement. Yeah. It was it was starting to sink in, into the pavement. I'm lying. Well, Danny would go down there and find that, and then he would bring up the find out the people are going to have all this there. Just well, just yeah. well, I mean, I, I, had, yeah. I had started having come out, and they went, no. They called him. They were like, no, we need to move this. He was back within two we'll hours. Keep that aggressive. If it was a county different road. subject. But if it's a township road, they're real funny. They don't care. Now, they came out on a township road. That is Jamie May's issue. Well, I'm just saying that we're going to be going over some stuff, and uh, there might be some other things that we're bringing in the next, you know, because we're going to need help. Well, Obviously, we're all willing to look at anything you want to present yeah. to us, Joe. You know, if you have a question, then we'll certainly take that time to look at it and, and discuss it and make some decisions to help you out. 
Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'd rather point on the, that's the definition. But then if you go to page 38, when it starts talking about single family homes, right. So when they're saying here a single family dwelling, they're referring to a building that's specific five or less people. Right. So the de definition, these are the definitions because here it's not defined. Right. Right. So that's what it is. Yeah. If you go, if you turn a page back from from your no, you go back to the turn a page back. The yeah. Definition. Yes. Yeah. That's I mean, so what you're saying, so, it's a definition, but here is what they're talking about. But so all I'm saying is we have. Oh, oh, I guess my point is we can move on. We're having a lot of people, and I've had a lot, a lot of them in the past, who it's new neighbors, fighting neighbors, blah, blah, right. blah, blah. And that's why we're here. Nothing's changed in 20 years. Right. But now a new neighbor comes, or they're fighting, and now they're bringing it before us and making them do what they gotta do. It's, and we have to follow the rules. So what happens when someone comes in? It says they have seven people in the house. Mm -hmm. They're gonna bring up the book and say, your book says you can't. So the least thing can happen is they have to come here, spend their three hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and we can give a variance for it. Tell me, you have six people, huh? Huh. Tell me, you have six people. You go from there. But I'm just saying, is this was, if someone was evil enough? I guess is that what I'm saying. If someone, if someone wanted to be that vindictive, yes, and things. we have it. And I there know. are people out there that will do that and use it, and we need to. I guess there's some things we need to clarify like that. I, I guess, I mean. So if somebody has five children and the parent, the husband and wife has seven, are we gonna say, well, you gotta get rid of two of your kids? Yeah. That's why I move. Says, or yeah, or move, get a bigger. Yeah. Family. No, we could give them a, a variance. I yeah. mean, who of us would say one of you move? Yeah. But it's gonna cost them and us time and money. Yeah. And that's. And I'm not here to settle neighbors' disputes. No, not we've, no. done, we've done a lot of that. Yes, we have. And I'm just saying is, I'm surprised time. all these yeah. years. Yeah. I mean, none of us have even really looked yeah. at it too. I've read this book a hundred times. Yeah. That's never <laughs> really registered. I've never read it like that and, and looked at it like that. Again, the you know, point I was making though, again, with this being a definition in this, again, the discarded motor vehicle, all I know is what he tells me is we right. have no jurisdiction to do anything about exactly. it. Well, the, you know why what? the heck is it in the book? Then? Well, is there something in the book later by this car I, vehicle? I have no idea. Yeah, is there somewhere else in the book actually this car for, vehicle? For this vehicle, actually. Then why is it even a definition? Yeah, why is so, it that's Every my, definition my question. should be something to clarify then something if, else if in the book. No if there's nothing else in the book, why have, do we clarify yeah, it? If we have no jurisdiction over any of it, why is it in this book? Uh, th there you go. So that's the thing. <laughs> so the no tax on a vehicle right. sitting at your neighbor's house. Right. Okay, that does violate. That is now, if you want them to take care of it, you need to call the police. There is a violation that gives the police the responsibility but for this our is supposed to be share. written that we have jurisdiction. Why is it in our book? Share. We're not because doing it for the sheriff. Be, be, because be they don't want the code, not in the township. Again, book. it comes <laughs> down to then Jeff is policing people. They they have one that the sheriff's calling me. Well, you got anything close to this right. stuff? And I look it up. And I say no. Get out of there. That's totally yeah. Right. Because very simple. Let's just think of a, <coughs> a mobile home with a dust bucket. Now, if there was. You know, section 1001.2, <clears throat> no mobile home should be parked on the street at night. All you gotta do is call the sheriff and he's gonna say, what's your code? There it is. They tow it. Yeah. But why, see, I like that. Let me ask you this. I do agree with that. Why can't that we have a code for that? Why can't we enforce a code that says if you do not remove that vehicle within 120 days, you're gonna get fined a hundred dollars a day until you get rid of it. Now, whether or not we can enforce it, I don't know, but why don't we have something in effect for that? Because it's all over If we country. have a code, if we have a code, we can enforce it, because all we have to do is call the sheriff. <clears throat> and he's gonna ask you, you tell him the code, and they enforce well, the code. Then we need to put okay, code in no, here. Okay, here, here's what we're gonna do. Okay. We're gonna calm down. Pick one of those, either the cars, or the dwelling, to the cars, or the, the trailers, and we'll use the form and address it right. to the zoning board. Mm -hmm. So we'll fill that out, give it to the zoning board, let them give us a response in 30 days, 
and then we'll go and we can twist and fear forever and ever and ever. Says nine, and we're not getting nine, anywhere. Nine, nine, nine. And let them figure out. Yeah. You know, even if they talk to Jeff and Jeff says, well, you know, we don't want to get into that. Then they'll write down, Jeff said, we don't want to get in, into any of the issues. In 2023, right, with policing start, the street. Start with <clears> the <throat> definitions. Oh, I, I said, that, I told the county, I said, I want to start with definitions. Why do you want to do that for? Because that's the lead. So which one? Yeah, it's you, the lead. Exactly which definition right. do you want to start with? All the definitions. Well, the, just start with the whole definition one, section. Just pick one. We'll, we'll do it. I think right. some are, 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 <clears throat> are more uh, honest than others. That like the card thing. We have, we see cards all over this township that we have no control over. Let's if see. we have buildings that they are like that, and we don't have control over it, then we should do the building. But let's hit 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 the things that really distract from the township. My thing. A lot of this was copied and pasted out of the ORC, okay? A lot of them, they do it, they bring it in, they do a resolution. Does it ever make it in here? Yeah, no. We just accept it, and I'm like this. You know what? You don't have to put it in the book. You can come up here and just say, in ORC sections, blah, blah, blah. That's all you need to do. You know what I mean? Because a lot of the stuff in here, like, you know, public utilities, and when I was looking at the other things, I was like, they don't even have the interest book, and here we are, loaded with. You want me? We're trying to make a book. I think the easiest one to start out with is fill out a form. We'll do it here on the dwelling. Can I ask one thing? Go ahead. Would it be easier, because, say, if we have nothing in February, or we can make a work day with the zoning board like we have in the we past. We discussed that before. And you know what, because we have four or five things right now, and as we're discussing it with them, then we will actually bring the forms and fill them out to give to them. Because I don't like in the book saying disabled vehicles, it shouldn't even be in our book. Because there's absolutely nothing we can do, so why is it even described? This is just telling you what a disabled vehicle is. What do we care? There's nothing we can do about it. That's the you question. Know what you do? You, you turn around and you say, let's... Here's the code, and you go to section 702 in the ORC, and you go and you read it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be in here. Right. It's not like, well, we're, we've decided we're going to use it. That ain't the way it goes. Right. You are going to use it. You know what I mean? And we got something in here. I didn't know. Type B family daycare. Some lady called me up. Uh, page? Uh, page 20, 33, and it says, that's a maximum of six kids. I didn't know that. Right. Yeah, now, that which, issue with that a couple years ago. A couple years ago. Yeah. Yeah, and case. this one here, hey, because there's A and B, right? What is B is a home person, A is uh you you got some license to pull people to all your left. You know, the lady gave me that information. I thought, man, that was I write down everything I get from people so I if it comes up and that's something you would maybe a variance, you know, we like would they allow it? Probably not. It'd be an extra. You know what I mean? But maybe the one, I don't know. Yeah, maybe <laughs> the zoning guys have a reason for, cause, like I said, without going through everything now, and I know we spent a lot of time on this, but this cartered motor vehicle, mm -hmm. it's in our book and it describes what it is. Okay. Why doesn't it have a, a disabled astronaut pod? <laughs> you Wait a minute, it, that, <laughs> this actually has no purpose because there's nothing in the book, that one page. But let them about address it why it's in there. Yes. And should there be yes. something. In other words, when you go to single family residential buildings in the 700s, should there be a section that says no disabled vehicle, discarded motor vehicle, is right. what it's called. And then you look and say, well, what the hell is a discarded motor vehicle? And you go back and you go, oh. That's what it is, right. and that would make sense. To have that. But we don't have that. Nowhere but else in the book we, is, is it mentioned. Ask them, that's right? right. Nowhere else in the book is it discussed. We should ask them why if, isn't it correct? If, if we're going to and have let a, them answer. If you're going to have a definition, you got to have a doggone code associated with it, or it's meaningless to this book. So right now we have <clears> at least four or five things. Just why pick maybe one. The new form. Just what I'm saying is, why pick one? Let's just have a meeting with them. Well, but let's just pick one, let them address it, able, and then if they suggest, hey, you know what, we should all get together and go through the book, which would take years. Not through the just book. Just give them one, address it, mm -hmm. let them answer it, or make an amendment 
Because if you remember in the past meetings, that's what we talked about the forum was supposed to be. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. supposed to make an amendment to the book. Because you're not going to go in and rewrite the book every time. No, no but we're going to make an amendment to the book. My question, my whole thing is this on the zoning board. And I'm not pointing fingers, I'm just pointing fingers. You're pointing fingers. Yes, I am. How is this stuff, and I'm pointing it directly back to us also. Here, I've been doing this for almost 20 years. First time we really, because we've never had a really discarded <clears throat> vehicle. What have you been doing for 20 years? Is Same thing right? Biden does, sit around and eat my ice cream. Uh, huh. we, but we, anyways. We go as far as we can with what we do. Right, do. right. Exactly. But we need to simplify. We can breathe. So we, when somebody comes in, I want to, if I don't have tea, take it out of my book. Okay? I don't care where a disabled vehicle is, because nowhere else in the book does it talk about a disabled vehicle. So it's, it's like agriculture. We kept going back and forth over the agriculture, and what you kept saying? Quit talking about it, it has nothing to do with us. No. Why is it in our book then? In Lexington Township, look, it's not even in there. It shouldn't be in ours. So Randy, you need to add Zoning Board of Appeal. Yeah. To your list. I was going to do that. Because you only got trustees and right. zoning inspectors. <clears throat> you need to add, add them and then put, fill out the description or request, the reason for the clarification. Yeah. And then who do we give this to? Probably this the, head, the head of the zoning board, which is, uh, what's his Reagan. name? What? I'm sorry. Reagan. Yeah. So Wait a yeah. minute. Is it, so does that mean when we get something, it only goes to Tony? No, yeah, see, that's not right. Well, I mean, it, this is the same thing. The board. Well, so anything that comes in, it's supposed to go through whatever's handling it. And gets to but it. originally, we said it would go to all of us. Am I correct on that? The question is, is do why would it go it? to all of them? I think you send it to the office. You send it to the office, <clears throat> and it's the office responsibility to give it to all the people in the board, just like us. You know, when she sent stuff out, she emailed all of us. I got you. So in other words, it would actually, and it goes to everyone. It goes to everybody in the Zoning Board of Appeals. It goes to everybody in the Zoning Board. It goes to Jeff. If we want to, you know, include the trustees, that's up to the office if she wants to include them. The, the board likes the event. Yeah. They do. I like the day that we got in on something on that burnout. I like the email. I, I say them, right. and I go over them, yeah. and refer to them. So I think I like that's it. what we do. I think we ask about <clears throat> the discarded motor vehicles. Mm -hmm. Why aren't they in you know, any of the back of the book? Mm -hmm. And should they be? And how would they go about that? Let them respond. Okay. And then we'll see how that goes. And then we can move on from there. And then if they say, you know what? Maybe we should sit down and go through a lot of things in that book. Then but then we'll figure I, out I what guess this is where I disagree. We feel that we need to speak with them. There's a lot of issues, correct? Why do we? Why are we going to go on defense and wait for them to say? Well, we, I, I it's don't just ask. I mean, I don't how hard on, is it for us just to I don't say? I go on defense, but you know as well as I do. I've been to those meetings. You've been to those meetings. We go there. We go over a couple of subjects. We really don't solve anything, and we go on with our business. But we really have topics now that we are wanting to discuss. Let's do the form, we'll get it in writing, and then we'll move on from there and we'll see. If we, and if you want to institute it, say, hey, we found many things in the book. Do you guys want us to continue with this way we're doing it? Or would you like to sit down and meet? Mm -hmm. Then the ball's in their court and we serve it. So let's do that and go from there and see how that works out. Just get the ball rolling. It's January. I'm going to talk to all the boards on the, uh, you know, how it was handled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two days. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Which one do you want to do? What is the thing? I haven't brought it up. I haven't had a chance. We're looking Jeff. at it and, like, we're not getting stuff through. Let's just see if there's a way we can get it through. You know, that's what I'm looking for. Right. At. Jeff, when does the uh, other board meet? What's their meeting day? It's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, first Thursday, first Wednesday. What are we reading? Reagan went with it. I told him what she'd done with her you, thing. You videoing theirs? 
Good. I have one other thing for a form. <laughs> to the trustee. I'm run out of ink. Okay. <laughs> the bathroom in this building okay. has been disabled for I don't know how long. It's disabled. It's disabled. There's it's disabled. there's tape over the the only yeah. facility yeah. only public restroom for both people. Yes. And the toilet and the both of them not usable. The the the. The to but it's still got a man and woman on the front, so it's got to be for public. And they had a special meeting a little while ago mm -hmm. that addressed people going back into the fireman's area. I had to in the past. Yeah, and I've had to in the past. And when I went back there, there was a guy back there taking a shower. That's okay. there. Let me just That's say, not ours. this is the way this, this needs to be taken okay, care of. It's not the trustees. It's really Rich Peterson's responsibility. Now, wait a minute. I was fire chief for a uh, long time over here, Tony. Who's ever okay, there? You have to take the, the to the trustees and say, look, I got a toilet that's plugged up and in in, it's not working. I need to get approval from you to go ahead and get somebody in here to yeah, fix it. Yeah, exactly. And, and, but it's not them. To make that motion, it's up to Rich Peterson to come to them. And but we also them use the thing. building, so well, it is kind of up to us also. If there was ten people in like, here tonight for that meeting, I'll make up the form. I'm just telling yeah. you the way it's supposed to work. Well, I know that, but it hasn't worked for how many months. If so. there was ten people in there yeah. and they had to use that facility, are we going to tell them to go back to the yeah. firemen's? Does the trustees can use there? Does trustees know this problem? They use this building. Is there an agency out there? Control stuff like that. Oh sure. Oh, okay. There's all kind of plumbing people come in and fix public that. Public people, public areas come yeah. into an area and you don't have restrooms. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a department. Oh wait a minute. Well, that we have the power of the form. The, the, now they have to respond why they won't fix it. The, the, the question is is do we want to go over their heads no. and go to a government which they are huh? or let Too them late. address it? Mm -hmm. Too late. Well, but we don't know that. I don't know that. Yeah, do <laughs> what do you mean it's too late? What's, what's too, what's late, too late, mean? late mean? I already put it in motion. Oh. To what? There was a problem out here with the um, septic system. They're not allowed to wash the, um, the trucks here. Okay. That's what the EPA said. Really? Okay. Yeah, because the EPA come in, we went to every building with me and Lurica, and we, she wrote down everything about all the buildings. Okay, so she's got the information. Well, who handles septic systems? The health department. So who wants that information? The health department, why? Because they wanna come out here and find out why this toilet's tied up. Well, I gotta get the information. I'm on vacation, now I'm here, I'm back. So I'm gonna put in a requisition to send me the information for <coughs> so I can hand it to John Babel. And he's going to come out and he's going to make sure and see why this toilet hasn't been fixed for four months or so. All right, it's done. It's a urinal or it's a toilet? It's a toilet. Huh? It's it's a toilet. toilet. Yeah, because I went in there and I'm like, come on, enough's enough. Does any of the toilets work in here? I yeah, know, yeah. you have to go through the door into the fireman area yeah. and use there. Yeah. Because if there is a problem, Nobody's going to sit on this. You know, we're not a good punt. So you don't want us to do a form for them then? No, don't do it. It's already being taken care of. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, because if there is something wrong here, it has to be fixed. No, right. You know, it needs to be corrected. Yeah. And this is, there's a... You know, but it's surprising because they use the same exact bill. Yeah, they're meeting. And, and they didn't seem to, doesn't seem to bother them too much. Well, if something's wrong with the system, we need to move the baby it, somewhere it's else. It's always been used. No, in right, exactly. Yeah, that's what it is. Because I look at these guys, chief. Older people in here walking around. We've always been responsible for all the maintenance it's on the building. It's a curse. From day one. Yeah, but we all can't stations. say anything to them all saying with the form. Uh, I, I, the trustees. No, that's fine. I that's who I would go to because it's. I mean, that's who's responsible. I'm not messing with the fireman. Unless they just don't think they're not going to do anything about it. No, exactly. You know, I don't. But he is correct. If, if they don't want to fix it, which is fine, I don't know what it's going to cost or whatever. Well, I don't know if it's a matter if they don't want to. I there must be a reason yeah. why it's four months. Well, they talked about the cost in one of the videos. It doesn't matter. No, but when you were correct with 
then we just moved this meeting to another building. It's a public building. you got to have a public restroom. Yeah. Well, if you don't open it to the public, then, you don't have to but, worry. But it is, but it is open, open to the public. It is open to the yeah. public. Right. But they 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 point. It's open to the public. Then they would move ah, sure. yeah. He is the public. <coughs> yeah. Good point. <laughs> He's got a camera. But he's still yeah, public. I don't, I don't know any video. He should have a bathroom that he should be allowed to use because this know, is a public meeting. This township. I didn't have to go to all this talk about. Now I have to yeah, go. See what happens. Not any bad. other issues? Yeah, that that broken up that it can't any other issues that need to yeah. be addressed that will be like yeah. my horse? I, I do have a question for you. This is just kind of off the cuff here that I've noticed a couple things in the township. Is there any regulations on raising animals on your property if you're not a farm? like a residential area and you fence it off and you have goats and chickens, chickens and that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is what we did. We did it at the beginning. And I checked a lot of different places on animals. Who allows animals and you know, it says, you know, agriculture in there. Like I said, Columbus, Ohio allows six chickens. Okay. So I talked to the trustees, what do you think? And they said, well, 12 chickens. Out here because we got a lot of people with a lot of land, so I got to. When they come into me and they say something, if I hear about a nuisance, they're gone. If they're straying, they're gone. So you get a chance. You know, I mean, take care of yourself. You know, like they have some small horses or pets and stuff like that, but we don't want them running down the neighborhood and digging up ladies' flowers. I told one guy down there. He goes, the ducks would come over and see him and I said, cage them. They're strays. And then you go back there and you have yourself a little leaves. Stray animals. Farm area. You pick the animals up. You keep them. You go down there and you tell the people, hey, I got the chickens over here. You because you cannot kill them. It's the law. So you tell the people, hey, I got the chickens here, blah, blah, blah. If they don't come, it says like 24 hours, 40 hours, you can run them down on the people's corn and sell them. So if right. somebody has a half acre lot in a residential area and you got your yard fenced in for goats. Is goats that, are a little over them. Okay, is that allowed? No, that's over the okay. top. You mean over the guy in Pilot Knob that's got those two goats? No, there's, 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 a house, there's a house on, on West Road that has a ton of goats on his property right adjacent to the West Road and adjacent to his house. And I mean, it, it's a big fenced in area with a lot of goats. A lot and, of goats. Yeah. You know, I know the guy up on um, Broadway, up on top of the hill, as you're going up the, over the tracks, he has some goats. He has them out in his front yard, but now he has set a number of acres there. Right. But this guy lives in a residential area, and I'm sure it stinks. Well, he did yeah. come and say something to me, hey, can I put goats in there? He said, no, no, that's a little... Yeah, there's one of your days driving around. So there's somewhere that says, no, you can't have them? Well, it's, it's the nuisance. You bring it's a nuisance. Oh, I'm right. not trying to stop anybody from doing stuff like well, that. Chickens you know, everywhere. But you know, my uh, three are. houses down from yeah, he's got chickens. Yeah, I was thinking about getting some. You know, stuff. you know where I live on yeah. Westmore. I got a guy for three houses down. He has a whole bunch of chickens in his backyard. Now he's got them cooped up. But you know, my neighbor. But you can hear the rooster cockle now every freaking so you morning. Can't, roosters have to be on five acres. Oh yeah, well, well I mean, that's not that. five acres. That's like less than an acre. Uh, I looked this stuff at the beginning because everybody come after chickens, you know, like crazy. Like about four years ago, so I looked all that stuff up so it's in my brain. But yeah, roosters, no, they're they don't. Wake I have a up question. Keep on waking you up. Yeah, they do. You know? How can so many places in the township have chickens, and I've never seen a dead chicken in the row? Yeah. They're running just. On 44, a couple places they have them on Broadway. And they're in the front yard, they're doing. And have you ever seen a dead chicken? No. The coyotes are eating them. Well, no. I mean, they're smarter than the squirrels and everybody else. They get hit by guards. The coyotes are eating This guy has a dog that's in because I got a big red tail, and he's grabbed at least three of them now that I've seen. Fox? Red tail is a hawk. Oh, we, we've got, yeah, a, we got know, a huge box. And then between them and the coyotes, I mean, my dog was sick the other day. He got me up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I took him outside, and the coyotes were just ripping down the road, down towards the new allotment down there in Redwood. I mean, they were howling like crazy. And and they're constantly running through my yard, you know. <clears throat> so, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Through the whole yeah. Can I, got, you know, can I make a motion to end this meeting, and then we can talk about oh, it? Yes, please.
Well, I'm just saying. Anyhow, I just wanted to Anybody know if there's any rules. I second this. Second. <coughs> Kyle? Yes. Randy? Yes. Randy? Here. Yeah. Pam? How important is it to you? Yes. Yes. Now you can talk about all the chickens and goats and everything.